What's up guys and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about something that is relatively new to the overland scene. So this in front of me here is the Zero Breeze AC unit. You did hear me right. This is an air conditioning unit. So obviously we have our rooftop tent set up and we are here in the mountains of Colorado and I want to show you guys this product because this is a great product to have to make your camping experience more enjoyable. So first, let's take a look at the physical aspect of this unit. So once again, this is the Zero Breeze and you can tell here the design is super sleek. The color choice is perfect. I really like the silver and black on it, but the build quality on this is absolutely amazing. And the handle right here, makes it super easy to carry around. So if you guys are walking to camp or bringing it to your rooftop tent or whatever, make it easy with a single hand operation. Now let's talk about the front side of this here. So the front side, we attach this piece that will allow us to screw on the duct that will go inside our tent, whether that be a rooftop tent or a ground tent or pretty much anywhere you want. I actually use this on or inside our Tacoma when we installed the turbo kit and we didn't have AC in the truck. So I was using this inside in the meantime and that was like a good month. And this thing saved me from pretty much dying inside the Tacoma. But this is that this piece screws on. So normally this will come with it off. And then right on top here, we have the controls. These are, I believe touch screen because there's not any actual um, click when you actually touch them. Um, I'll show you guys once it's lit up in the front here and then on the very bottom of this This is pretty cool. So this here is actually its own Battery for the AC unit. So you can actually take this bottom part off And you do so by this part in the back here So this little ye yellow piece here slide that off and it comes off just like that So obviously we have ours connected so we're not going to take it off all the way But you guys can see here Two separate pieces. This bottom battery part is pretty cool because it just slides on. So basically all you do is set it on there and then you slide it and it locks into place with that yellow lever that's in the back and then now you're free to take it anywhere. So normally I don't personally think about having cooled air for myself, but I have two kids now and the last time we went camping with them, it got extremely hot and I was thinking about having something like this in the rooftop tent. So I found this and I've been using it and testing it for about a month now. And it's been a game changer, especially because I have kids. Um, but even when I go by myself on a hot day like this, if you guys are in the desert and you guys are not lucky enough to have um, trees around you, then definitely something like this is going to come in handy for you guys. So. I'm going to get this in the tent and show you guys how it's used, turn it on, um, and I actually brought some, um, some gauges to measure the temperature outside and inside the tent. So let's go ahead and get this in the tent. So we got these Zero Breeze in the tent. And in here, my Wolfpack Pro, I actually have all the ducting and everything in here. So the one thing that I think that really could help is if Zero Breeze had some kind of packaging or carrying bag or a carrying case to kind of have everything like this, all the ducting and the power um, cords and everything like that. But in here, I have two gauges, right? So I'm gonna have one obviously in the tent and then the other one I'm gonna put probably just on this table here um, just to kind of see what the temperature difference is now. So we are in the tent now and this is the thermometer that I grabbed from outside from sitting on the table. So from basically the time that I took the thermometer out of the wolf pack which was inside the vehicle, which was at 85 degrees, putting it on the table for five minutes, it was at 
98 degrees outside. So today is a very hot day and I can definitely feel it now that I'm sitting in the tent. So this is huge. The zero breeze is huge because if you wanna hang out in the tent during the day or the kids wanna play in the tent and get away from the sun for a little bit, it's gonna be difficult because I am not having a good time right now sitting in the tent at 98 degrees. So let's uh, set this thing up, show you guys that, and show you guys how cool it can make the tent. So that way you can actually hang out inside the tent, whether it be your kids or you, or just wanna take like a midday nap or whatever, and you can't because it's too friggin' hot. So um, I showed you guys before, I have the front side of this set up right here. Um, that's just two screws that I basically always keep this part on super easy they actually provide the allen key as well for that so very cool um the other thing is that i haven't charged this thing yet and i've used it a few times um well actually scratch that i charged it once after i used it that first time um and then now i think it's at 50 percent or so so this thing is very efficient and the fact that the battery is actually attached or you know you can attach it to the unit and not have to bring a little portable power station is is pretty awesome. So this back part here, we are going to attach it. Um, it just goes like this. It has two clips, and you guys heard right there. It kind of just clips into place. There's no no tools, no hardware needed, and I screwed these vents on already, and they literally just screw on like this. So nothing to it, and these vents are good in like small spaces like a rooftop tent where if you guys were to use this indoors you guys don't have to put the the tent on for whatever reason if your ac goes out in your room or if your room is on like the hot side of your house this ac can actually help out with that so in a larger space you guys don't really need this um this piece right here to take it off is just as easy you click that and it just comes off just like that so very easy but in a small confined space like this I want my hot air to go outside so that the, the inside temperature or air can actually be cooler. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to turn this around and just for demonstration purposes, this is not how I would set it up with the actual unit in the middle of the tent, but I'm going to feed these guys, my windows right here. I'm gonna feed them so you see that they extend out all the way outside. So this is how you guys will want your ducts coming out of your tent. So one of them is gonna be pulling in fresh air and the other one is gonna be exhausting the hot air from inside the tent. So just point them in the opposite direction so that way you're not feeding the intake with hot air. So while we're out here, we have our temperature, our thermostat, that has been sitting here for a little bit and so about 10 minutes or so so this is kind of the true temperature right now it is at 108 degrees or so right here so it's pretty dang hot in the air it's like 98 degrees today where we are currently at and then inside the tent we are currently at just under 100 degrees in here so it's a little bit cooler in here than it is outside if you're just sitting in the sun and the AC unit's not currently on. So now let's flip it on, let it run for about five, 10 minutes and see what the temperature looks like. So I repositioned the zero breeze a little bit to where I would normally, normally put it pretty much in the corner somewhere. So I'm gonna show you guys how to turn it on now. So you wanna turn on the battery first. So right down here on the battery portion next to the USB ports, which is pretty nice. You can charge your phone or charge anything you want. It's actually at like 80%, which is good. So once you have that on, once it beeps, there's a little light on the back side of this that will come on. Um, that just shows red or blue. Red means that it's not running. Um, there's no AC going through it. And then blue is when it's actually cooling down. So there's a gauge on this. And let me see if I can zoom in. So it currently shows that it is 90, well, 94 when we first turned it on. 
and then now it's dropping. So this is kind of the temperature that it reads coming out of the unit. Um, so this number is going to drop as it, it cools down the actual tent and everything like that. So back there, which you can't really see, but there's a blue light now right there. So that lets you know that it's actually cooling now. And this number on here is dropping pretty quickly. I'll just keep this turned since I'm not actually gonna use the tent right now. So right up here, the menu is on top. The first one is just fan. The second one is kind of like fast mode. That's why there's a rocket. Um, the third one, the middle one is kind of like the, your standard cool mode. Um, there is the fourth one. It's kind of like a, a timer. So you can, when you're sleeping at night, if it's hot, you can set that. So that way it shuts off at however long you want it. Um, and then just the, the button for, to show the light on the actual ring here. So it pr provides a little ambient light if you need a little bit in your tent. So pretty cool. Um, and then up here, there's the power mode, um, you know, down, up, and then how strong you want the fan to be. So I turned it all the way up. I'm gonna leave this for a little bit, maybe 10 minutes, come back and see what the temperature on the actual zero breeze says and then on our thermostat actually says. So while we're gonna let this run, I'm gonna close all the windows and everything just to help because the sun shining through um, is not gonna help with cooling down the tent. So I'm gonna zip the windows up. I'm gonna zip the window that's actually behind me as well and let this guy run for a little bit and then we'll come back and, and check it out. So it's been about 10 minutes. The thermostat outside is about at 97 degrees. So now let's go check how our zero breeze is doing inside. All right guys, so we are in the tent now. We close the main door that we just entered. So that way it keeps the cool air in here and be as you know um, true to kind of what we're trying to do in showing you guys. So. Um, the air that's coming out of the zero breeze right now is at 73 degrees, which is pretty good. So from entering that door, it just felt like a night and day difference going from 97, 97 98 degrees to about 78 degrees. So let me see right here if it'll focus, focus, there you go. So right there, you guys can see it's about it's about 78 degrees or so. So that's that's about a 20 degree difference um, from 98, 97 to about 78. So that's a huge difference. So sitting in here now, I'm actually comfortable being that these are shut, there's no airflow, there's nothing in here and I'm still comfortable. That's a big, big plus. Normally I, I can't sit in the tent without having the, the windows open or anything like that. And there's a breeze flowing through the windows. So that way I can actually like take a, a midday nap or something like that. But this is pretty awesome. Um, and I've, I've been running on full blast just to cool it down as much as possible within that 10 minute time frame that I was trying to give to you guys. So obviously if this thing is on longer and it stays on, you know, for as long as you need to, um, the cooler it'll get. So already it's gone down to seven degrees, 70 degrees. So it's still dropping the temperature in here, which is pretty awesome. 69, that's, that's pretty awesome to see. All right, so there you guys have it. This thing is amazing. And it is gonna go with me every time I go to camp, especially if I'm taking my kids, just because my kids still take midday naps. So having them in the rooftop tent and having their bodies not overheat because we have an AC unit is gonna be huge. And the build quality of this thing is amazing. Obviously, it is a very new product. I believe Zero Bees is the first one to actually make something like this. And it is a little bit on the pricier side, but if you guys want to camp while being comfortable, whether you guys are an overlander who camps a lot, or if you guys just wanna be kind of comfortable every time you guys camp, this is kind of a must, in my opinion. It is for me now, and that's pretty much it. I think the only thing that would make this even better is if Zero Breeze were to make some kind of case where we can carry this and all of the 
ducting and the the cords for it all in one bag or case that would be huge that would that would be the only thing that would make this thing better i mean it is already pretty portable so not like it's a big deal but i would love to prevent it from getting scratches just because there's nothing really protecting it when you put it in your vehicle but i will have this zero breeze down in the description if you guys would like to see and pick one up for yourself and if you guys are not subscribed to the channel already please do so let us know what you guys would like to see and we will see you guys in a later video peace